Hey there, hello there, ho there, it's Jeff Cutter Diamond. Welcome you to final round coverage of the PGA Championship of the 50-60s 2010s League. Bernard Hunt is at 10 under par. He leads by two strokes over Dallas, Vincent Wolf, and then three shots over Johnny Pot, Gary Woodland, J.B. Holmes, Peter Thompson, the, those guys. Top person goes to Augusta for the year-end tournament. Second place may have a shot. But anyway, we have a hard, fast course, PGA Rough late wind this time, northwest direction, and the yellow pin. As per tradition, we will have the final pairing on Sunday. That would be Hunt and Finsterwald. In, as you can probably see on the board, the Peter Thompson's the only defending guy who's already won. <gasps> it could cause trouble. Keegan Bradley, too. <gasps> I'm not gasping. For fun. I'm just gasping because I'm hiccuping. Fuck me. Anyway, so Russell Hanley, a triple bogey. Well, he's nowhere near going to be on top of the world. So, anyway, of course, you know, next will be the 40s, 50s, 90s group. I'm trying to get in Bob Hamilton, Ben Hogan, Brett Geiberger, and Curry Melikoff have won their tournament, their respective tournaments. Fast start for Kevin Na. Uh, and then you got the early 80s coming up soon. Henry Picard, George Burns, Bobby Jones, the legendary Bobby Jones, and Willie Anderson Jr., winners of those. And in the other league, we have, there's Bob Goldby. A 10. A 10? Real? Russell Henley. That 10th hole really isn't playing good. And then 70s and 2000s, the Golden Tiger League, as they call it. Johnny Miller, Jack Nicholas, Camilo Villegas, and Stuart Sink all uh, clinched their spot into the thing here. Uh, yeah. Kevin Streelman, man, that 10th hole is going to play hard because, like, we have three guys who really slipped up at those holes. Well, that, yep, we'll soon be starting Hunt and Finsterwald. I don't know how good they have been recently, but yeah, it'll be good for one of them to win. There's only been, of the 16 golfers who've clinched their spot, Song with a triple bogey. Well, there's Nick Watney. He's starting to pick up some speed. And he ends up Watney with a 67. So they're under par. So Watney kind of is there, but everyone else. Bruce Devlin from New Zealand, Australia. Oh, that's New Zealand. A 65 for Devlin. He's at 200 par now. So Devlin, a great second round. Ted Crow will probably be the next guy involved. Will he take the lead away from Finn? Devlin. You see Watney? Kevin Noss score. Okay. But we have Bernard Hunt and Dow Finster will have to go with Hunt. And Jack Green Woods. Dow. Right down the middle is Wall 3 P. Jack Green Hunt. That looks fantastic. And that's not bad. Dow. And a little farther away, 10 yards. 28 years. Three for Brady. Oh, you kidding me. He had a 1 in 9 chance, and Finster Wolf puts it in. Now, Hunt. Overshoot. Oh, Look at the car. Man, Finster Wolf starts on. He's not catching up to Hunt. Yeah, only three non Americans out of 16 have won. Peter Thompson, Willie Anderson Jr., and Vajegas. You're thinking. Willie Anderson Jr. He's from Scotland, and he was part of the early days. Here's this one. Too much, buddy. Those winds are probably going to cost you. Well, Hunt didn't take a lot, but the good news for him is that at least he was. Well, Winston Wolf fucked it up again. Now he's got putt for par. He just missed. Hunt for birdie. 70 feet. I like it if I were you. Yeah, you don't want to overshoot it. The so Parker Hunt, he's the one with the Bogies. So back to two square feet to Hunt. A 10 under par. After every three holes, we'll keep a look at the leaderboard. So here's Hunt. Right down the pipe. Nice to him, to bring five. Shinnecock, only two par fives. So if you're a long hitter, you're going to have to really have to look at down. Take a shot! Oh, I'm not tip up. Hunt. He's on the green! Okay, that'll work. Fister Wall wants to punt. Oh. 
what? And he fails miserably. Punch for birdie. Nope. Press for both for par. Are you so serious? You don't ruin my chance. Hunt for par. All right, so, well, we've got some others at 800 par. Doug Ford and Johnny Pot. Four trying for the second time to be a finalist. Hunt's still got two-stroke lead. The clubhouse leader is definitely at minus two. Or 17. And, let's see, eight. Peter Thompson with a triple bogey. Well, I think his chances for winning a second tourney of the year are up in smoke. He has some eight under par, so Hunt still has a two-stroke lead. Those three golfers, including his playing partner, Finsterwald. Bow. Okay, that's okay. Hunt. A little too much there. A little bit tough for the putt. And no, he's four feet away. Thanks to roll for birdie. No. Yes. So Hunt's still trying to keep his lead. From Finster World and the others. Hunt's doing his right thing to get in the fair way. To get the seven on the scoreboard. Oh, Finster World, that's not good. But it is a part five, so we'll have a few more chances. Hunt, will he get on the green in two? The answer is no, but he's got a chip. Chip in a chair. Third shot for Finster World. This is going to be a decent pitch for Hunt. Let's get very close for a birdie. Okay, maybe I might go for birdie. Nope, I got a par. That's all right. At least it's not a birdie. Hunt for birdie. Puts it down. So he's trying to keep that lead intact at ten o'clock. But I have Hunt. I don't think I know this guy. Brooks Kapka put up a nine. That ten full is gonna probably be the death of a lot of people because that's gonna be totally been happening. Right. Hunt, not a bad shot. I think for him he just needs to keep getting pars and pray that mistakes could be made by other people who are aiming for him. First reward, second shot. Oh boy. We'll have to chip up for a par attempt. Hunt? Hey! Into the bunker. Mr. Wald. Is he close? Yeah, he's okay. That would be a good hunt. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. A little too harsh. The fescue. Hunt's going to have to really bounce by. Oh, no way. That might cost him the lead. Are you for fucking real? I think he got too far ahead of himself. That's going to cost him the lead. Gabe's fluffing it. Wow. You just hate to see us. Is that? So this is for a nine. A ten? He hits a six over par. Now he's at five. This is for par. Nope. He's at seven. I wonder who has the lead now. The lead now is four. It's at eight under par. Pot and Finsterwald are both at seven under par. Hunt drops all the way to six. He's still decent. He's three for. Crawl ends with a 66, so minus four is the lead right now. Only eight golfers are ahead of him. Four triple bogeys on ten. That's a tough hole. So there is light for uh, Hunt. Now Dow. Can you get close? I say so. That's probably going to be a great shot. Hunt. Oh, man. Just when you think he was got it, he got it right in his hands, but. Oh, he touched it too. Car? Fuck. Fuck. I'm ready for five now. 30 for Finster. Yep. So Dow is in the lead. Headed to the 8th hole. I know the 10th hole will probably be hell, but how much hell on these two golfers, I don't know. 
Clara knows he's got to get something done. And Ford having a botch. Johnny Pot could even be close. Dow. Second shot. Okay, that's not bad. Could have been better. Hunt. Wow. Well, he's got madness. He says, I might as well putt. He's 15 feet away. Dow for birdie. Oy. Par for Hunt? No? Uh, he's going for par. He's got it. So he's trying to keep that lead. And he knows that he's the last guy. He's in last pairing. So whatever happens to the other golfers, he can set up. This is a terrible second shot. Well, Finsterwald's going to do the right thing by keeping it there. Yeah, if I were Bernard Hunt, I'd go for it. you got to be aggressive here. I know you're six foot, six behind your partner, but anyway. Hunt. Okay. Parks. Dally. And a bogey. Is that seven? Hunt for Park. No, oh, he keeps fun. Well, it's Finster Roll and Pot at seven under par. Cosarts and Ford are only one stroke back. Crow is the clubhouse leader at four under par with a 66. There's Jimmy Walker, too, from the 2010s. Bernard Hart's a nine over par. He's still in the top 20. Well, Cosarts and. Well, now it's Cosarts. Trying to steal it from Finsterwald. I was about to say, what the hell was that? We had the 10 total. I wonder how bad the 10 total could be if people are getting like 10s and 9s. Second shot for Finster. He's good. Oh, that's good. That's a pretty paint. Hunt? Oh, that's okay. I was like, how did those guys fuck up? Hunt for birdie! Yup. Finster for birdie. Nope, he'll par. So, Finster will. So, they both par. No big deal from these two guys. Now, on to 11. Finster will. No. Get more club. Hunt! Now it's a pitch job for these two, especially Mr. Roll and Pulse for a par. Thinking that pars are probably going to be his best friend for a hunt. Does he have to be? No, he's not. Rapa. Damn boy. He's just not having a good time. Mr. Roll for par. There you go. He's got his par. Now close arts with a 30 on 16. But the good news for Mr. Roll is he's got five more holes to play. He has, Cozart doesn't have that many left. Oh, oh, that looks left. And that is left. 332, though. That's a good swing. Oh, Hunt's going to the pipe. And that's 343. Wow. Second shot for Finster. Finster. Hunt's back with Now Hunt. Oh, he hit the pin. That's a birdie. But can Dow get his? No. He overshoots it. This is for par. And he missed the par putt. Oh, no. What a mistake by Finster. Now he's tied for, with Ford and Walker, too. Well, Walker's at 600 par now. So Walker could make a difference. But, man. Bernard Hunt plus nine today. Close starts at 800 par with... One more hole left, and what was it, four? No, Walker's seven on the club, 16. Vince has got his birth kind of thing. The good news for Dow is that he does have holes to play. Great. Second shot. Wow. Bernie. Dow must well punt. A leg it. Yeah, he knows he doesn't want to overshoot it like that. Headhunt, a bow. 
Keep on, keep on. Jamie Holmes, Eagles on 16. That's a huge ego for him. He's coming through. Two holes left. Here's Dow. Oh, no. Just go up there. Hunt a little left. Hunt's at even par now. Second shot. Finster Williams. Oh, that's okay. That's a little pretty punk. Love you. Brittany Hunt. And, okay. This is for Brittany. Donuts. Hunt for par. He keeps missing his pucks. So now he's at even over, okay, over par. Finster. Now he's got his par. Now the winds are now calm. So basically... You gotta aim for the green. Aim for the green. Aim for everything. That was at six on the par. Par four. Coming up. Punt. Oh, a little too long. Second shot. It's a wall. Five. Five. Bernie. This is a pitch shot for Dow. He's going to get a very close. And he does. That's going to be probably a par. Hunt. I, 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 I don't get it. Let's go for par. Put it down. So now he's at six under par. He needs two birdies to catch Colsarts. One birdie would be enough for second place and a good chance. Colsarts is eight under par. With the lead. All right, so Finster rolled. If he can do something, he needs to do it right here, right now. A lot of bumpers, though. A birdie would be good. Second shot for Hunt, who had a good second and third round, but he had a good one. He's minus four, minus three, minus three, but he's plus eleven today. Finster Bolt. Needs a good second shot. He's got it. Okay. He's on the green. Hunt will go for it and make a good shot. Finster Bolt wants the eagle. Nope, but he's five feet away. Hunt for good. Yes. Hunt for even. Finster Bolt. He puts it down. He's at seven. He's one, he's one back of closer. He has one back of Cole Sarts. Okay, that went Oh, no, it ran off. If it didn't run off, I think this could be huge. Hunt. Nope. My question is do you. Yeah. Hunt. He's going to putt. Why not? I don't fucking believe it. There are three numbers. He he'll, he holds it out. He has a chance to birdie 18 for the win. Are you kidding me? This is for par. Hunt can't do it. He's back. Okay, so the situation is this. If Finsterwald birdies, he wins. If he pars, we have a playoff of close arts. If he bogeys, he will be second. Finsterwald will be close arts will win. But Finsterwald would be second and maybe... And he would be in the wild card playoff for a trip to Augusta and deny Walker and Ford a chance to do something. Here. So we'll see what happens. Dal Finsterwald needs a birdie to win the tournament, a par to force the playoff. Birdie Hunt. I can't believe this guy. Second shot for him. I go for it. Oh, no. Well, that bunker swallowed the ball. And there goes his chances of a early to tie. Now he needs to be calm with a shot. And that's going to do it. I think we have ourselves a playoff. Hunt missed for bogey plus two. What a day for Bernie Hunt. Plus 12. He shoots at 82. 
He only gets he gets three birdies, but look at the mess, especially on the sixth. A plus six. Take that away. Take that away. He would be at four under. Now Finster Wolf. This is for a playoff. Yes. We got a playoff between Finster Wolf and Close Arts. Can you believe it? We have a tie at eight under par. So the loser of this will be, have the consolation of taking second place and a chance to go to Augusta. But we have the playoff. Closart and Finsterwald. It's 17-18, right? Yep. 17 hole first. Closart. Well, Closart had a one over par on day one. Five under par day two. Great job. And then he's been minus one and minus three. So yeah, he did okay. Now for Finsterwald. Oh, he plugged it. Finsterwald plus one on day one as well. Minus six on day two. Look at all the bogeys he had. Look at the birdies. Minus three and just even part. Steven. Bunker. He's got to get close. Okay, he's close. Now he needs a mistake from Colsarts. This is for the win. No, he fell two feet short. Colsarts gets his. Mr. Wald gets his. Oh, they both go par, and now on to 18. The Belgian and the American. Mr. Wald was in the final pairing. Colsarts was not. Second shots for these guys. Colsarts. Always on the green. Now for Finsterwald. He's on the green. They both have tough shots. This is for Bernie. Okay, six feet. Cole starts. Nope. For par. He makes his. Finsterwald goes. He's going to make his. And he does. Continue. That's okay, on day 18 until you die. To 18 before until someone makes a mistake. Close arts. He's on the green. Oh, that's close. That's not bad. Pincer ball. Uh oh, he's hit the bunker. He's got to be close. Wow. He is close. He's very close. Now the pressure will be on close arts. If he makes this, he wins. If not, we might have another play. Close arts. Oh no, Eddie Spaghetti. He had a one in six chance and he missed. Yeah, we have three. Someone has to win. Well, someone's gonna win. Oh man, those aren't gonna shot. And there we go. Nicholas Closarts on the fourth playoff hole wins the title. What a job for the Belgian. So Closarts. Who's Belgium a champion? So here we're going to Augusta for the tournament. Finsterwald will take second and we'll probably have to hope for a wild card playoff to get into Augusta. But what a win for Nicholas Cosarts. I want to see the leaderboards. Oh, after a two player playoff, he had a 71 on day one, the 65, 69, 67. So he wins. He jumped up eight spots. Okay, so round three. So round three, he was ninth. So he was in the fifth last pairing. He was in the pairing with Kepka. And there were four pairs ahead of him. So man, so yeah, he had to wait for four pairs ahead of him. And he still made it. What a job by him. Finsterwald thought he did okay. But in the end, I just want to see how bad Bernard Hunt felt. Well, I know some jump up. Bruce Devlin jumped up to tie for 10th. And Ted Kroll jumped up to 7th. 
Bernard Hunt dropped from first place all the way to a tie for 23rd. So he was technically tied for 23rd with that 82 on the final in the final round. Can you believe it? What a mistake. But in the end, Nick Colsarts, who was ninth, headed into the final round, wins the match, wins the tournament in a playoff with Drew with Dal Finsterwald. What a time to be alive. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.